Hello everyone, Crystal Haney here from Bays Mountain Park and Planetarium. Today we're going to talk about coexisting with bears. Um, if you didn't see our last two videos, uh, take this chance to go back and look at them about general black bear information and how to camp and hike safely in bear country and what to do if you encounter a bear. Now, as people are building houses closer and closer to wooded areas, uh, the chance of seeing a black bear is rising. Also, they do come into subdivisions and neighborhoods uh, looking for trash and things like that. So today we're going to talk about things you can do at your home to prevent bear hanging around your home. So again, this is uh, the black bear beside me. We'll just show you a little bit of their size. Um, so it is a big animal. You will notice if something like that is coming around your home, they can be very um, devastating with garbage cans and pet food and things like that, just tearing things apart. So we want to prevent that. So some things you can do, one, is if you grill at home, make sure you clean the grill really well. Uh, after every use, you want to clean the grease out. Don't pour the grease in your yard. Black bear have a very good sense of smell. They can smell that grease and they will come there wanting to, to eat that. So make sure you pour the grease um, in a container that you can take off, clean the grill really well, and store it inside an area um, or with a cover that um, the black bear will not be able to get to. Another thing is when you have trash, you want to put it in a bear-proof container. Black bear are very strong. They can get into a lot of containers. Uh, a normal trash lid uh, with a trash can would be very easy for a black bear to get into. So if you have to keep it in something like that, if you can keep the trash can in a garage or just take the trash off as soon as you get it. That way it's not hanging around for, uh, causing a smell to allow bear to come to your house. If you recycle, make sure you take that off as soon as possible. And if you compost at your home, you make sure you don't put meat, bones, or grease in that compost. That smell will attract bears in. But you can also put electric fencing around your compost to deter a bear from getting that um, as well. So if you have livestock at home, you know you want to prevent a black bear or other wild animal from getting your livestock. You can do different things. You can put electric wiring and fencing around your chickens, um, your beehives, your gardens, things like that to prevent a black bear from easily getting into those. Make sure you put these animals up at night. And again, if you have feed for them, you want to put that feed in a stored building that a black bear cannot get to. A story up here about Bays Mountain, uh, we do have corn that we feed to the deer with our feeders down at the gatehouse and up at the maintenance building. We had a long Chester freezer that we put these bags of corns in and we thought a big old good sturdy lock on that freezer would keep the bear out. No, the back bear came, he ripped that lid open, broke the lock, and got right into those corns. So not every container is bear proof. You want to make sure it's very sturdy, very um, heavy where the black bear cannot get in because again they are very strong. Um, if you go to bearwise.org they have um, do-it-yourself containers that you can build that are uh, bear proof. So again you want to make sure food, chicken food, cow food, anything you have for your livestock is contained in a bear proof container. Um, if you have pets at home you don't want to feed them on your porch and leave that food there. So if you have cats or dogs outside, give them their portion, whatever they don't eat. You want to bring that back in the house. You don't want to leave that out there because, again, the smell of that food attracts a black bear in. So pick it up after you feed those animals. Don't leave your bag of dog food or cat food on your porch at, um, either. Another thing that can attract a bear to your house is bird feeders. Bird feeders have a lot, or bird seed has a lot of calories in it. And in the fall time, black bear need to get 20,000 calories a day to store up fat for the winter. So all they have to do is uh, come in, eat one thing of bird food out of your bird feeder, and they have all those calories. Um, even if you put the feeder way up and way out where a bear cannot get to it easily, black bear have been known to sit there for hours staring at it, trying to figure out how do I, can I get this bird food. And while they're there, they may look, start looking around at your house to figure out what else they can get into. So it is better not to feed birds in the fall because you don't want to attract bears to your house for that bird seed. Um, some other things you can do to attract birds instead are bird bass. Um, and also you can plant native uh, plants to attract insects and things like that that would bring the birds in as well. So you can do those as alternatives. So again, those are just some things you can do to prevent um, a black bear coming into your neighborhood and kind of hanging out. Now, if a black bear passes through, it may just be a one-time thing. He's just passing through, may not come back, especially if he can't find anything. The thing that makes the black bear hang around is the food source, something they can easily get. 
But let's say we have a house or a neighborhood with 10 houses in it. Nine houses are doing everything they can to be bear wise and one house is not. That one house can cause a bear to stay in your neighborhood. So it's very important to talk to your neighbors. Let them know if you see a bear. Uh, talk to them about things they can do to prevent the bear hanging around. So it does take a neighborhood working together sometimes to prevent bears from hanging out. But again, if you see one just passing through, it may just be a one-time thing. But keep an eye on that, especially make sure you're putting everything up that you need to. And we want to prevent the black bear from hanging out at neighborhoods because those bears, um, when they do things like that, it could be a death sentence for the bears. So we want to make sure they're out in the wild where they're supposed to be, getting their natural food source, and not hanging out around humans. One thing I will say, intentionally or unintentionally, feeding a bear means a dead bear, basically, because they, again, they get habituated, they want to get that food source, so they might become a nuisance, they might have to be euthanized, they become easy target for poachers, they may get into something that's toxic and it may kill them, so never feed a bear, um, and make sure you are keeping everything put up. So those are just some things, again, if you go to bearwise.org, they can tell you how to uh, have bear-proof containers and uh, electric fencing, things like that, to protect your livestock and your pets but make sure you are doing these things at your home keeping your trash and compost picked up and uh, we want to keep the bear wild and not have them in our neighborhoods so we thank you for joining us and have a great day